Hello and a very warm welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video. I've had a lot of new subscribers to my channel recently. So if that's you, a very, very warm welcome. Thank you so much for your support. In today's video, I want to show you how you can create a white border, a clean white border around your uh, images or elements that you've uploaded into Canva. Now, you might be doing this because you have got a Cricut or a silhouette and you're creating stickers and you need the white outline around it, or because you would like to create the kind of like the, the magazine cutout effect inside of Canva. Now, recently, we have just had the shadows feature come back. Yay, <laughs> a little celebration for that because I know so many Canva designers have been missing that feature. I think Canva was just ironing out a few wrinkles, but now it is back on the new editor. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create the, the cutout white border effect inside of Canva using the new editor. So on the screen here, you can see the white border effects that I'm talking about. Now, this one is one that has been placed inside of a, uh, a photograph, but if you were creating stickers, you can use exactly the same technique. So I'm going to show you how to recreate this using Canva. So I'm going to start with a new page. And obviously you don't want to start with a white background, otherwise you're not going to see it. So I'm just going to uh, add a color. Let's go blue this time. So start with a colored background, just so that you can see what you're working with, uh, particularly if you're doing stickers, because you will need transparent background that you still want to be able to see what you are doing. So I've got a color background here. Now I'm going to find my image and I'm just going to place it onto the, onto the artboard. Okay, so I've got my image here. Now this is for pro users. The first step is for pro users. You are going to need to remove the background of your photograph, okay? I'll show you how to do that in pro. Uh, otherwise, you may need to uh, use separate software to remove the background of your image. If you have got a graphic that you have created that you've uploaded as a sticker, you won't need to do this step. So what I've done, selected my photo, I clicked edit photo, and I'm going to go here and just click the background remover. Okay, that's done that quite quickly. Yours might take a little bit longer. Uh, once I've removed the background, I'm ready now to apply the white border around the outside. Okay, to do that now, I'm going to click on the photograph. I'm going to go to edit photo. Down here under FX, effects is where you effects effects <laughs> that's where you will find the uh, shadows function you might not see you can just see the corner of it here in the blue so click your arrow and you'll be able to find shadows alternatively you can just go back to the uh, old photo editor by clicking this button and then you will see the old uh, shadows editor However, so we're going to click on these shadows here. The one that we want is glow. Okay, so click on glow. That is going to place a very blurred shadow behind my photograph, but that's okay. We are going to change that. Okay, in the glow editor, so it's not going to look, uh, look like the white outright outline now, but I'll show you how to adjust your settings so that you can do that. Start from the top and go down. So from your size, just bring your size up to somewhere about 30. You can adjust this later. Your blur amount, you want that right to zero. You want zero blurring at all. Angle is fine, just leave that. Distance is fine, just leave that as well. Change your color to white or whatever color you want your outline to be. I'm changing it to white. Make sure it's absolute white. So F, 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 F. And then the intensity, you want to bring that up to 100. Okay, so now this has got a crisp, relatively smooth outline around the photograph. And if you're using a sticker, it'll be the same thing. Now that you've done that, just adjust your size depending on your personal preference for what you would like it to look like. You might like a nice thin one or you might like it to be thick. Just depends on your project, okay? But I'm just going to leave it about 20. 
19 or 20, and I'm happy with that. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to create the white outline around your elements. Now, with uh, just a little warning, with the shadows feature being still a little bit new, you may find it might be a little bit glitchy, okay? So if you find that, you can always revert back to the old editor. Don't worry, you can chop and change. You can, if you go back to the old editor, you can still come back to the new and vice versa. But just play around with it. Just be a little bit patient with it because they're still ironing out some glitches anytime there's big changes to software like that there's always bound to be a couple of problems but if on a canva they will improve those over time so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more tutorials just like this one